Hello! Today I'm going to be talking to you about trestle masks. Um, now Trestle Theatre Company started in the United Kingdom in the 80s and they started to make these absolutely fantastic masks uh, made out of plastic um, and designed to enable anyone to become a really successful mask performer. Um, there's three sets, there's a basic, intermediate and advanced set. Today I'm going to be working with the basic mask set which has a basic array of expressions um, and quite simple and a really good way to get started. So when we're working with mask, we sometimes talk about the process of masking up. Now masking up is a four step process whereby um, the actor prepares to perform in mask. We don't simply just want to put the mask on and start moving around. We want to start to think about the character before we begin. So first of all, I'm going to study the mask. So I'm going to look at my mask, I'm going to choose my mask and I'm going to imitate the facial expression. So this guy's got quite sunken eyebrows and he's also got a big frown on his face. So I'm going to try and copy the facial expression of my mask. Now, I've had a go at starting to um, embrace what the facial expression might look like. I'm now going to think about my physical acting skills. So how can I change my body to bring this character to life? Because we know that with mask work, we want to be exaggerating our body as best we can. So with this guy, I'm guessing he's not feeling that great. I'm going to maybe uh, hunch my posture over slightly. I'm going to uh, move my legs to a narrow stance. I'm going to stand quite close together. Um, and I'm going to perhaps avoid eye contact with people as well. I might change my gait by moving quite slowly because I'm quite nervous or quite depressed about something. So I've started to think about how I might move as this character. Now the third step is I actually have to mask up. So I'm starting to put the mask onto my face and transform into this character. So in order to do that, I always turn away from the audience. The reason I do that is because I don't want to ruin the magic I don't just want to be like, oh, now I'm a story and now I'm in a mask. I want to try and transform myself into this character step by step. The mask is held with elastic and if the mask doesn't quite fit, you can always use a sponge or something else to try and make the mask fit onto your face really comfortably. Once the mask is in position, you want to try and make sure that you place your hair or anything else um, kind of around the mask so that it looks as natural as possible. If, for example, you just put the mask on and all of your hair is kind of around and we can see the elastic, it kind of breaks that illusion slightly. So the final stage, step four, when we have the mask on, is the reveal. So I'm going to turn around and I'm going to perform in my mask. As you can see, when performing in mask, you have to exaggerate your physical acting skills. You have to make everything 10 times bigger so that you can really start to bring this mask to life. Once you've finished, you want to sanitise the mask so that you can clean it down, ready for the next person to use. A couple of things to remember when you are wearing the mask and performing in mask. You never want to touch the mask whilst you are performing. So although it might be tempting to adjust the mask because it's a little bit uncomfortable or to try and interact with the mask's face, you want to try and keep that illusion alive as much as possible and keep your hands away from the, uh, the face of the mask all the time whilst you're performing. Another important point is that you're not going to talk whilst you're using full mask. Some masks in drama we use half mask, but when you have a full mask, you're not going to be talking because the sound will be muffled and there's no space for the sound to come out freely. So that's a summary of basic trestle mask use. Um, we'll just go through the process one more time in case you forgot. So I'm going to take on this guy. He's one of my favourites. So the first thing I'm going to do is look at the mask and study it. And I'm going to try and copy the facial expression. So I imagine this character to be quite smarmy, to be quite smug, quite in love with himself and I'm going to start to imitate that in my physical acting skills. So first of all I'm going to adopt a wide stance, I'm going to stand with my legs quite far apart, I'm going to have a tall posture, show that I don't really care what other people think of me and that I'm quite arrogant. 
I'm going to use quite big, grand gestures as if I'm looking for a fight with someone else. Um, and I'm perhaps going to move quite quickly in a threatening manner in order to intimidate people around me. So then the third step, I turn away from my audience and I mask up. I just so that my hair is around my face. And then I reveal the mask. Turn around, I demask, and I sanitise again, ready for the next person. So I hope that's been helpful, and I hope you found that useful today. Um, the basics of trestle mask and the basic rules of mask um, explained.